Hello? Testing? Oh, weird. It didn't tell me it started. But here we are, and it started, and we're seven seconds into this video. Uh, what's up? Happy uh, week before XP, uh, or happy three weeks after Easter, everyone. Uh, we've got a fun, uh, a fun weekend planned. We've got... Uh, God is the Lord of the Sabbath, and so um, it's kind of weird that we went we went Easter, and then we went Jesus redeems Peter. Now we're going to jump back to like pre Jesus' death, um, which is always confusing. Uh, but the next couple of weeks, we're going to be building up in Jesus' life again, and then we'll get to his ascension. Um, so yes, we are out of order, uh, but that's because now from now until uh, September first, you know, um, we're we're going through. We're going to hit. Uh, the rest of Jesus' life that we skipped earlier, we're going to hit uh, the book of Acts, and then we're going to go through some of what Paul did on his missionary journeys um, that we see both in Acts as well as who he was writing to throughout the epistles. Um, and then we'll finish with some revelation, uh, but not the crazy scary part. So uh, opening question today, what is your favorite way to relax? We're going to ask kids that. The answers are going to range anywhere from video games to sleeping to, I don't know, hey Jordan, what else do kids do to relax? <laughs> Video not games. Reading. Jordan's high. She can't see her, but she's here. You said not reading? not reading. Yeah, not reading. That's what they do to relax. Unless you have a homeschooled kid. <laughs> Hi, Katie and Scott. Um, memory verse. We have a new memory verse. Now this is eternal life that they may know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. There are motions attached. Um, so check those out if you want to know them ahead of time or else you can learn them on Sunday with the kids. Uh, we'll take up offering. We'll play a game called nailed it or failed it cat edition. This game is amazing. Uh, what's going to happen is we're going to see a video of a cat preparing to jump. And then we have to decide, did the cat nail the jump or does the cat fail the jump? And it's incredible. It's one of the best games we've ever played. Um, so it's going to be, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Then we have two songs. Uh, then we have our story. Like I said, our story is about um, it's Jesus and his disciples and they're picking grain and the teacher of the law said, hey, you can't do that because it's the Sabbath and you can't work. And Jesus goes, I'm Jesus. I can do what I want. And then he, he actually goes and heals a man on the Sabbath and everyone gets really upset. But then we're learning that that God is actually the Lord of the Sabbath and that he's, he's bigger than these man-made rules. Um, and that when God said, honor the Sabbath and keep it holy, um, he, he meant something different than what the teachers of the law meant. So as we go from that into our worship response, uh, we are going to be asking the question, why did God give people a Sabbath day? We want our kids to, to articulate that. Why, why is a day of rest important for us in today's culture? Um, or in that culture, because, you know, it's thousands of years ago, God said, you need to take a day for rest. Um, how do the religious leaders change the Sabbath day? And, and so that's going to be based on our story is why, why was what they were doing wrong? Um, and then we're going to ask this question. What do you think it means that Jesus looks at our hearts? Because kids are going to hear that and they're going to go, uh, he looks inside of my chest like an x-ray and he sees my heart and that's bloody. And that is not what we mean by that. And so we want, we want kids to understand what that means, that he looks at our hearts, that he looks at our motives, why we do things. Um, and that sometimes the why we do something is more important than what we do. Um, that's a really deep conversation that you could get into with some children though. So, um, so we're going to do that. Uh, ask kids those questions. Make sure you have lots of kids answer um, because I don't want just one kid to be like, well, we should pray because that's what they typically do. We actually joked about that at small group tonight. So, um, and then we have a small group activity where we're going to give kids um, some, just some nonsense rules. Uh, and, and so some of these rules, um, I have some right here. One of them is if you are standing on the right side of the room, you can only hop on one foot. Uh, if you're standing on the left side of the room, you have to hop on both feet. So no standing anymore. You have to be hopping, but either on one foot or on two feet. If someone says hello to you, you must do the chicken dance in response. So you as a leader, make sure you're saying hello to your kids. And then they have to, no, 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 um, you must high five everyone who enters the room. Make sure to walk in and out of the classroom periodically just to uh, make them have to come and give you high fives. Um, and anytime someone high fives you, you must bark in response. And so again, you're going to walk out of the room. You're going to come back in. They're going to hop on one foot over to you. They're going to high five you and they're going to bark and it's going to be fantastic. And then you uh, get to begin adding new rules and you can let them add new rules. So I'll have whiteboards available. So these will be taped up around the room. Um, and then you can add more rules to the whiteboard. 
and it will be a blasty blast of a good time. So um, that's the day. We're going we're gonna to play some games up front and have some fun. We're going to worship. We're going to have a fun story. Um, and then and we're going to talk about taking naps. And that's just uh, as we as we filled out some of these leader um, survey questions, uh, he said, what would you do if you had one free hour? And a lot of people said I'd, get, I'd go get coffee uh, or I would take a nap. And so we're going to talk about taking naps this week because Jesus says we should. Um, with that, uh, next week, uh, is, is XP, the amazing chemistry show, uh, Thursday night, we are going to play dodgeball and have a movie night. So we're going to do half, halfway dodgeball, half watch a movie like we did last time for, um, David Laughlin in October. Our kids loved it. They are going to get super excited about it. Um, and then on Sunday we will have Josh Denhart here for all three services and it's going to be legit. So, uh, if you have any questions, uh, call me, text me, email me, stop by the church, uh, pop by on Thursday and, and ask questions there on, you know, I'll be, you know, at service getting all that stuff ready to go. So, um, yeah, have a great week and I will see you guys, uh, in just a couple of short days.